In this video, I'm going to be talking about whether you need to learn Linux for your A+, Net+, or Security+, certifications. My name is Andrew Ramdiel, and I'm the director here at Technical Institute of America. I'm also one of the instructors for many technology classes. I did pen testing for over 12 years and a help desk, and also I've been a system administrator for a while also. Okay, now, do I need to know Linux in order to pass these certification exams like A+, Net+, and Security+, and the answer is a little bit, not too much. Now, surprisingly, and many of you are probably surprised to hear this, you guys use the Linux and Unix operating systems more than you actually use desktop, but many of you are guilty of this. Here's what I mean. How many of you guys use or spend more time on your phone or your iPad than you do on your desktops or laptops. If you say, well, yeah, that's true, I spend more time on my phone and my iPad than I do on my desktop, then you probably use Linux and Unix more than you actually use Windows. Uh, you see, your Android operating system is a Linux-based OS and the Mac OS is, a, is, a, is based on a Unix-based operating system. Uh, by the way, Linux, Linux is based on Unix, by the way, so it's almost the same thing. So, do you need to learn Linux? Now, when it comes to these A+, Net+, certifications, especially in the A+, there are some commands you're going to need to know in Linux in order to pass that, in order to pass that exam. Not a whole lot in my A+, e-learning class. In our classes, we do teach Linux commands. Now, the best way that you're going to need to learn these things, the best way to learn Linux is to download it and play with it. Down, go and download a version of Ubuntu that's free. Remember, almost all Linux distros are free. You can download Ubuntu, you can download Fedora, uh, Linux, or you can download Kali Linux if you want to get in to pen testing. Kali Linux is a Linux distribution. It's basically an operating system that comes with all the pen testers or quote unquote ethical hacking tool tools that pen testers will use when scanning and trying to hack your network. Ubuntu is more of a user-friendly operating system that you can use to actually get work done, like check emails and surf internet and make documents. Uh, and the best way to learn Linux is to install them on virtual machines. So I'm going to show you a piece of software here. I'm going to show you a piece of software here. So right now, you can see that I'm running Kali Linux, and this is actually not the full Kali Linux. This is actually running on VirtualBox. It's like a window on my computer. So I'm going to minimize this. So what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to download this software called, oops, maximize this, called VirtualBox. Now, VirtualBox is a free virtualization software that you can download, and then you can download your Linux operating system, like I have my Kali Linux here, onto it. Now, we're, I'm going to do another video later um, about how to install VirtualBox and how to install a virtual machine on it. If you have already installed your Windows operating systems on your VirtualBox, then go ahead and download a version of Linux and install it the same way as you would on Windows. So the best way to learn Linux, install VirtualBox, which is your virtualization software, download an ISO image, or Kali Linux actually even comes with VirtualBox image, install it on your VirtualBox and start playing around with Linux. It's not that scary, and the commands are actually pretty easy to learn, and not to mention you're gonna need to know these commands for your A+, some for your, some for your network, actually very few for network plus, and some for your security plus. Not to mention, as you get into the real world and the real jobs, many, many, many businesses uses Linux as service, especially web service. Okay, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you in the next video.